Arab leaders reject international force in post-war Gaza, but offer no alternative. This post received a score of 3,100, with an upvote ratio of 91%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. We've tried nothing and we're all out of ideas. Free Palestine. Okay, then what? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Question mark, question mark. That's how you get the Hamases. I think the plural is Hamis. It's Hami to be technical. Great. Cyril knows. Israel to control Gaza. Arabs say no. Hamas to control Gaza. Israel says no. Futter to control Gaza. Palestinians say no. And round and round we go. Fuck it. Let's toss a dart at the board. Gaza will be controlled by Jim Rogers from Cleveland, Ohio. Best of luck, Jim. Jim Rogers. Uh, what? Question mark. He would unironically do a better job than Hamas. Fuck it. Let's give Jimmy a chance. Jim will fix it. Wait. Fitty kid will fix it. Ain't that right, Jim? Why do I get the feeling, set up an anti-Israel caliphate in Gaza, is the only answer they would accept? The real answer is that many of them don't actually care. Just like Western nations, Arab nations have to play optics, domestic politics on this issue to keep their citizens happy as many of their citizens do care. With that being said, they get to point a finger and say that's bad. Citizens eat it up and agree and then they get to walk off without trying to provide solutions to something they don't care about. If you pull up a map and look at how many Arab nations have actually normalized or were in the process of normalizing ties with Israel you'll get what I'm hinting at. None of them care. You can see how many of these Arab countries are willing to take in Gazan refugees. Which is zero. To be fair, a few tried in the past. Lebanon got a CIVL war for their trouble. Lebanon has never really recovered. Jordanians gave them citizenship, in return the Palestinians murdered the Prime Minister. Kuwait took a lot of them in, then when Saddam invaded the Palestinians immediately sided with Saddam. The other Arab states saying this and wanting no part in it isn't unreasonable. Right. According to the far left, Israel is supposed to somehow deal with them and open their borders after 10 sevenths. Insanity. The problem is the world basically wants Israel to deprogram the population a la post-war WW2 Germany and Japan. But nobody trusts Israel's far-right government not to pull a China Uyghur move. Israel also has no interest in that for the same reason they never bothered supporting the unpopular democratic group and armed Hamas, a war they can say they won every so often is good for the ruling party. Does the world want that? All the clowns begging for a ceasefire won't even let Israel get to that point. Arab leaders, we want the situation Gaza to remain terrible, so that we can forever use the people of Gaza, their suffering and anger, as a tool to bat Israel around the head within perpetuity. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.